Hello and welcome to another educational video about screen printing by Catsbit Productions. Thanks a lot for clicking on my video today. I really appreciate your time and attention very much and please remember that I do sell screen printing equipment and supplies online at catsbitscreenprintsupply.com and I have a storefront in Phoenix, Arizona where you can come and see me in person. So check out all my offerings at catspitscreenprintsupply.com where I offer free shipping on many of my major screen printing equipment purchases. Okay, so today is another quick tips video, quick tips for screen printing. Another question that I get asked a lot is, you know, just very basic, very simple question. How long or how many times can I reuse a screen? So, you know, here's a blank screen that we're going to coat with emulsion, make a stencil, print with it, and we might strip it and reuse it again over and over. How many times can we do that? How long will this screen last? Many of you may know that we start with an open mesh screen like this one, okay? Then the screen gets coated with emulsion, sort of like this one, okay? and we can then put the stencil on it, like this screen. Okay, so we have a screen. But you also know that the process is cyclical, if you will, and then we can strip the stencil off and end up with a blank screen again and start the process all over. So the question of how many times can we do that? How many times can we put emulsion on a screen, make a stencil, strip it and then put a new stencil on, new emulsion and make a new stencil and reuse the screen for different print jobs, okay? So how many times can that be done? And really, again, it comes down to the frame. If you have a nice rigid frame like a metal frame, it's going to last a really long time because as long as the mesh tension is good and the frame is rigid, you know, you should be able to reuse the screen over and over and over for many years. And there's only one thing that you might have to really, well, all right, two things. <laughs> there are maybe two things that you'll worry about over time. And one is staining from ink. And, uh, you know, staining from ink can actually over time close up the mesh openings because the ink gathers around the monofilament polyester fibers that make up the mesh, the screen mesh and it can build up around the fibers and actually close the mesh openings, impeding ink flow. So you have to use haze remover now and then to clean the screen and make sure that the mesh openings are free of ink, okay? That's one thing that can happen over time. The other thing is that the mesh fabric itself can become frayed and little frayed fibers start to go into the mesh openings and that also can impede the ink flow. However, in that case, the mesh is used up and either needs to be replaced or the screen needs to be discarded. Okay, so basically you can strip the screen. You can, you can make a screen like this and strip it and make a new one over and over and over as many times as really that you feel the screen is performing well. When you lose mesh tension or the frame becomes wobbly, if it's a wooden screen, you know, the frame becomes wobbly and you lose mesh tension, or when you notice that the ink isn't flowing very well through the mesh, you have to work harder with the squeegee. That's an indication of, of frayed fibers. Another indication of frayed fibers is the fact that white mesh and yellow mesh will kind of get dingy and gray over time and even with the haze remover you're not able to remove that. That could also be an indication of frayed mesh which should be replaced. Okay so the answer to the question is that yeah you can use the screen over and over and over many times for many years until the mesh itself either loses tension or it becomes so frayed or dirty that it's not printing well. So it's something that, that it, with experience, you will decide when a particular screen has completed its life cycle. It's monsoon season right now, so we have high temperatures with high humidity for us. And uh, yeah, it's a little, whew, okay, so 
Um, yeah, that's it for today. <laughs> Thanks a lot for watching my video. I really appreciate your time and attention a lot. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel if you like my tips, you like the advice, the information, the tutorials and stuff. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel so that I have motivation to come out here in the back when it's 100 degrees with 70% humidity and make videos for you guys. You know, I need like a nurse or an aide to, you know, pat the sweat. <laughs> All right. Thanks a lot for watching. I appreciate your time and attention. Please subscribe. And of course, we'll see you next time.